welcome back to my channel. I have another journal to share with you today. This is a winter themed journal. It is a design team project for Calico Collage and it is a blind junk journal order for Melissa. And the way I do custom orders in my shop now is if you would like to purchase one of my journals, um, you know, that's not listed. Like if you want me to make you one, like a custom order, I don't take specific requests anymore. You can order a certain size and then whatever, um, one I do next for that, you can, um, purchase. So Melissa ordered a nine by six. And so I, this is my next nine by six. So Melissa, this one is yours. <laughs> my boys are playing right outside and they're having a great time. So you're going to hear them yelling in the background. All right, so this is Simply Winter from Calico Collage. And I did this journal a little bit differently than I normal do, normally do. I kept a lot of bright, stark white because I wanted it to really mirror the beauty of the pure white snow during winter. So I have this scrapbook paper that is white and it has silver foil, almost like snow. This image is from one of the pages in the kit and I ripped around it and I inked it. I have two different stitches going around the edges of it. I have this really pretty pretty white lace all the way around and then I inked up some uh, paper flowers and this is like a crocheted type um, flower with another flower in the middle there so a lot of layering I love the way it looks and there's this uh, white lace closure it's a 60 page journal and so the other thing I did differently than I normally do and let me see if I can just zoom in a little bit so you can see the details a little bit better this kit by Calico Collage, um, I left the white around the edges and I left the white on the back instead of coffee dyeing it or trimming it out because I really wanted a lot of white accents. So on the inside here, we have this vellum pocket that says all is bright. And then this is part of the kit and you can put, you know, December or January or whatever winter month you want and whatever year it is, because this is about perfect size for a month worth of memories or notes. So a lot of the pages are gorgeous and I left them just as is. And this is actually the same image that's on the front. It's just a smaller one. And so I thought that was really pretty to mirror that when you open up the book. So here's another foiled page, but we have one of the journaling cards in the kit and it has winter in a bunch of different languages and then a giant Christmas tree tag. Blue is the main color in this kit besides white. So here's one of my paper ribbons on all of these pages that are opposite the white pages. All of them are the kit. I did not add book pages as pages. I did not add extra paper as pages. It's just totally the kit. And then I embellished it with other things like I normally do. So here's a paper ribbon and a snowflake button there. This is from the kit. And I added a foiled journaling card. And then I made this little pocket journaling card and there's some lace and a graphic 45 tag a blue jingle bell just just little bits and pieces and so then you can tuck that right into there and then behind there I add, did add this two from sticker down here here is like a photo mat and then there's a couple of journaling cards here it says snowball fight and then notes and then be happy. And then this is some of the lined paper from the kit. And I just kind of made a tag that opens up lots of room for journaling. And there is a little silver uh, glittery yeah. snowflake sticker on there. This really pretty snowflake doily. You can have a tuck spot here and then a giant flip out. You could even journal here, journal here, tuck in whatever you wanted. And I added this little glittered tree. This is more the lace from the front, but I turned it into like a pocket tuck spot. This is a little Christmas playing card in North Pole and there's a button. And then I made a little index card, journaling card, and then this is from the kit. So they slip in here for extra journaling. On this page, I just went ahead and added some blue ribbon and a blue snowflake sticker. These pieces of ephemera are from the kit and then I hot glued this uh, chipboard piece. You're never too old for a snowball fight. So all of these actually are, get it out, they are hot glued together, but you could tuck something in there or you can journal on the back of that as well. I added a little sticker tab at the top, gift list with an enamel dot. 
best day ever tuck spot. And then I added a button to this journaling card and some stitching and then some lace from Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. And little clip there or garment pin. And I love how this has music on the back of it. Lots of room for journaling. On this page, we have, I love snow. And then this one is from the kit and I stitched around that. This is also from the kit there. And then this bottom part is cut out from the kit and I made a pocket on this journaling card with a teeny little snowman tag that slips in there. On this clip, there is a little angel charm. And so here's a book page and instead of sewing it in, I just put it in here. It's like a Christmas uh, word search puzzle. And then there's some journaling cards. It says memories. And then this is from the kit, Joy to the World. And this little, I got this in Happy Mail last Christmas. Um, I don't remember exactly where, um, but it fit perfectly color-wise. Added this Merry Christmas kind of chalkboard sticker to this page. I did some stenciling. I used a Tim Holtz stencil on this page here. For the middle, I stamped all these snowflakes and then sprayed it with tin can glimmer mist. It's a happy scream, guys, in the background. So this is a piece of ephemera from the kit and then a little blue doily that I clipped on. And turned this into a pocket. And you make me smile is some more of that silver foiled. It was a paper pack from Michael. It was all silver foiled. And this little 3D snowman sticker along with all these children here. This is from a book on snowflakes and it's a whole bunch of science on snowflakes. So I clipped that in there. And then this is a giant tuck spot that um, she can, mostly you can put photos or receipts or other things you would like in there and some really pretty lace. And I added a Merry Christmas sticker. Here's a sticker. It's the merriest season of all. Here's a top tuck spot with a whole bunch of collaging. And then this is from the kit and that just slips right up in there. Enjoy every moment. There's a foil journaling card. And then this is from that book on snowflakes. I just turned it into a tag. Let it snow. There's a little pocket. And then this is from cut out from the kit for journaling. This was a little wooden um, tag, I guess, banner tag. I just added it to this page. And then here's a sticker with some vellum or acetate embellishment there. I added this on here for journaling and there's a little textile collage up there at the top, a little Santa tag. And this is an envelope and it opens all the way up. It's not glued shut so you can journal in it and then close it up if you want to. This is from the kit and I added some blue and white Monopoly money, which I thought, you know, Monopoly money games you might have gotten for Christmas or games you play together um, during the holiday times. There's some blue stained um, index cards. These are from the kit and I cut them out and stitched them and then added a little ribbon there at the top, a little journaling card, and some snowflake stickers there at the bottom. So Melissa, I hope you enjoy what I came up with. It, it's really beautiful. I really love the colors and I hope you do too. I like doing something besides red and green for Christmas occasionally. So if you are interested in ordering one of my blind junk journals, all it means is you don't know exactly what it'll be. You just know what the size will be, like how many pages and what the dimensions are. But I pretty much choose the theme and it's a surprise. So you can go to my Etsy shop, click on that link and in the drop down box and in the description box, it will give you all of the information on um, which one you would want to choose. So I hope that you have a lovely last day. Uh, oh, well, actually, this is the last day of November when I am filming it, but this will be up December 1st. So happy December and Christmas is right around the corner.